<laughs> Are you? Are you sure about that? Because here's a glimpse. Um, <laughs> I meant to get this done before I started streaming, but uh, I, I've been hanging out with the cats all day. And I wanted to keep hanging out with them, so I didn't get started. <laughs> Absurd amounts of pain in your ribs. Are you okay? Hi, Amy. Yeah, her light isn't on, but honestly, it's kind of adding to the vibe. Okay, let me look up skulls again. Um, yeah, I'll give you I'll give you guys a, a tour in just a second. Um, yeah, there's this one. It's the cow plant skull. Oh, it, but it's not really, really. Okay, fine. Hi, Liv. You've been subscribed for twenty mon one month. How long have I been streaming? Oh my god, it doesn't feel like so. Long. All right. I'm pulling out. But yes, so we are- I figured I would try and give, uh, give Edith's room a bit of a makeover. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, yeah, it's looking like this. Back when I got code, I coughed so much and so hard that I, I bowled my di- you pulled your diaphragm? Oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's get this. And then I want this one underneath it. With just some like books on it, I think would be nice. Uh, but yeah, we need to give August's room a little bit of an update too, because his is very his is very kiddish. Um Liv, have you like seen August and Edith recently? Let's get the no, this is the darkest one. Let me get these. Okay, so this is Edith's room. Um, as you can see, I kept a lot of the same like furniture. Um, I should put something there. Um, but I kept uh, a lot of the same furniture. Um, I just made it black. She basically painted her room black. Um, you know, as a as a dumb teen does. But yeah, so I want to put something here. Um, because in last episode we discovered she's a bi queen. I gave her the bi mirror. Um, and yeah, I want to put something here and I want to put something here and then I think we're good. But here, let me, uh, let me show you, uh, let me show you really quick what we're dealing with, uh, with Liv. <laughs> so here's our air. Um, <laughs> there she is. <laughs> it just hurts to move and sneeze. When, when did you have COVID? How long, hasn't it been a while? Yeah, I'm a little worried if it's been if it's been a hot minute since you've had it. Oh yeah, she's she's a whole she's a whole character. Couple of weeks. Um maybe you should go see someone about that. <laughs> she's very angsty. Um but yeah, so this is this is her change in room again. I think August is isn't gonna need as much work, um, but let's let's just look up some decorations really quick. I I also gave her this lamp. She's not exactly being subtle with the fact that she's she's sneaking alcohol. <laughs> I feel like Oliver Misty knows. I, Oliver Chase might not know. <laughs> Okay, let's go decorations. Let's go here. Um, there's a dream home decorator set that I think might be nice. Like magazines? Yeah, give me the black ones. Oh. Um, 
Yeah, that actually works. That's not floating. Okay, that's I'm fine with that. Um, and then I want to put something here. What should I put there, though? Let's just filter by black. Let's filter by black and see what we got. <laughs> um, I've got some of these, but I don't necessarily want to just, like, dump a bunch of storage in there. Although that probably would be practical. Um... <laughs> But if there's nothing else, then I can just I can just do some of that. That is the nice thing about these objects is that uh, they have debt. Like they're they're very nice ways to fill up space. Okay, that's fine. Hi, Lily. Hello. We are decorating Edith's room. I think it's done. I'm okay with this. And then let's go into August really quick. Um, we mainly just need to get rid of all the kids stuff in here. So like, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Um, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. I think this is fine. Um, we need something else right here. Hello, hello, hello. Um, and we can decorate it more later if we so choose. I don't think it's entirely necessary though. But let's give him a nice desk. I feel like he would like a nice desk to do his homework at because he's a nerd. Um, so let's use like this one. I don't want to use the, that one. I want to use one that's kind of like a darker color. Like a dark blue would be nice. Hello, hello, hello. All my friends are coming in. Oh my gosh. Hi, everyone. Um, it's so good to be back. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, this looks good. Let's do that. Um, is there maybe like a darker metal? Ooh, with the green, it looks kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's do that. Um, and then we can get him like, ooh, what are some cool... Is that the only patterned one? Okay, they're like two patterned ones. You know what? This is kind of yellow. We can give him a yellow chair. Um, and then we'll give him like a laptop. The parents are rich. They can afford this. In fact, I might actually move this over and then get a trash can in here. I've been playing a lot of two-point games. Like I got uh, on my cruise, I played two-point campus. Um, and I was actually playing that earlier today. Um, and man, not having a move objects cheat on a game where you're building, it, uh, it, you forget sometimes. You forget exactly how lucky you are. Uh, let's give him this one. Oh my gosh, we'll give him the space one. Misty bought this for him and was like, look, I got you a little space trash can because you love space. And he's like, mom, come on, that's for kids. But he actually loves it. <laughs> he actually loves it. Um, and then let's get him like a plant. We can get him this thing. I love this thing. I use this thing all the time. How could you not? It's so good. I know it's kind of dark. I think I'm okay. I hope you guys are okay with how dark it, it is right now. Get like a bright green. Oh my gosh! All of my friends are here. Hi, Leah. <laughs> like, Grace needs to come in. And Persebeth needs to come in, and then everyone will be here. When was the last time that happened? It's been a while. Um, he does like plants, so maybe I'll give him another plant. Yeah, this plant kind of matches because it's got the gold in it. Um, so right now, um, right now, uh, Leah, we are decorating the twins bedrooms for now that they're teenagers this is edith's it had a dramatic change um this one's august it's not gonna have as dramatic a change um uh, i just need something to put like over here and we need to decorate this desk really quick um let's go decorations in high school years so we can get all like the homework stuff yeah is there like a yeah, we'll go like that. Get get him some books. Okay, maybe 
maybe we don't get this giant stack of books. I just realized I probably unconsciously stole the character in my play's name from the Sim Baby Edith. Really? Well, I'm sure I'm sure Edith is honored. <laughs> yeah, that I love these items. H high school years gave such good clutter. Can I get another one of these and stick it up here? <gasps> I can, but I think what I'm actually gonna do is stick like some pencils or something. Let's grab this one. This is the one I like. Okay, cool. So that's done. And then something we can put over here. I'm writing a scene at the moment. Ooh, what is your what's your Edith like? Maybe we give him a telescope and point it out his window. That'd be kind of cute. I mean, we already have a telescope out here, but we can get another telescope. I mean, I don't think he can use it, but we're just trying to fill up space. So who even cares? Yeah, I, I love all the teenage style items. Okay, so there we go. I think that that looks good. So now they've both got uh, updated rooms. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, you're at cheer? Okay. Yeah, he's at cheer. Edith, what do you want to do? It's just your mom at home. I want to look at something really quick. Okay, when is flower day? <gasps> no, did I miss flower day? Y'all, I had this whole thing today. Um, uh, I had a whole thing today where I was like, we're gonna have, cause I, I've always, cause I, I feel like, I feel like Misty is the type to want to like de go all out and decorate for like holidays. And I was like, well, we missed Christmas, but I can do it for flower day. So we'll just have a giant party for flower day and everyone's going to dress up and they're going to take lots of pictures and Misty's going to make a bunch of, uh, a, is going to make like a bunch of flower arrangements and it's going to be great, but I miss flower day. <laughs> she was going to force Edith to wear a nice dress. Ugh. Okay. Well, never mind then. I'm sorry, Misty. I, I, I will never get to live your decor extensively decorate for a holiday vibes because the kids are going to age up before then. <laughs> that would have been so cute. Um, so you need to take a shower. So why don't we, why don't you head up here? Use the bath, the, use that and then take a cold shower. Cause girl, you are too romantic. <laughs> I, I, the vi I don't know about you guys, but after the last stream, so I'll give you guys a bit of an update on kind of what's been happening. Um, so Edith and August just staged up. Edith is romantic and an art lover. August is a genius overachiever. Edith has a crush on Julia. Oh, August is back from cheerleading. That's good. Did he get to go to the bathroom? He did. That's good. Ah! No! <laughs> Aurelius has passed his peak and has become an elderly cat. <laughs> I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry when he dies. I, I'm not kidding. I will. I will definitely do that. Here, Misty, come over here and hug him. Pet him. Kiss him. Uh, scratch his favorite spot. Can we brush him, please? Because he's shedding everywhere. Thank you. Yeah, Aurelius. Okay. Um, I, I think we're safe from that today. I think I don't think we need to worry about that quite yet. But that's a thing. Wait, why didn't you go? Why didn't you? Oh, because suddenly you're sad. Shared sadness. I mean, I like to think it's just because she's <laughs> she's emo now. Um, but yeah, why don't you? Uh, why don't you go take a shower? Where are you? It says he's still at his activity, but he's not, which means I can't control him. Well, okay, cool, August. I guess you're controlling yourself right now. Um, have fun with that. Uh, <laughs> you're eating fruitcake, so you're already doing you're already doing a good job. Not their two thousand dollar cat. <laughs> Misty, what kind of food do we have? What food do we have? We've got fruit salad. We got nothing. Okay, Misty, why don't you come over here and cook some dinner? Um, let's make some clam chowder. You know, we're in the right place for it. 
Okay, Edith is done. I think what Edith would want to do, you know, her snitch brother, who, who that makes it sound like they don't like each other. Her and August are best friends. Um, her snitch brother is over here eating fruitcake. Her mom is about to be making dinner. I think Edith will take this moment to run upstairs and and uh, practice making drinks at her illegal bar. Um, but yeah, so in the last episode, then Edith aged up into a um, into a teen, as we all can see. Um, she's kind of going through a phase right now, um, <laughs> and uh, she want she has gotten really into like alcohol because she's wants to be a rebel. So, yeah, she's definitely trying to look up, like, cocktails and stuff. Like, kind of party drinks type thing. Um, and then uh, he's a snitch because he loves her and wants her to be safe. Exactly. Um, she also has a crush on Julia, um, who is Car Carly and Lucas's biological daughter, but uh, Rachel and Jason's adopted daughter. So Carly, So Carly and Lucas had her. And then they couldn't, they weren't, they just weren't able to really take care of her the way that she needed. So, um, Rachel and Jason, who have actually had, I don't know if you guys noticed, they were having a lot of trouble having kids, but like they, but like she wanted another kid. They adopted her. Um, so she now has a crush on Julia, who's a little bit older. She also has a crush on, uh, Jolene. You can see it here. She also has a crush on Jolene, who is her friend. Um... I think she's okay with her crush on Julia because, like, she knows it's a little bit unattainable because Julia is more like the cool, like, like the cooler older girl. But I think she really wants to get over her crush on Jolene because, like, that's just gonna, she's like, this is just gonna get awkward if I have a crush on my best friend. Um, but it's okay. You know, she just aged up. She's romantic. Her hormones are raging. Uh, I mean, this, I don't, I, I, I wasn't expecting much else from her, honestly. Um, but today, in terms of what we are doing today, oh my gosh, can I, can I just like, can I, okay, I guess I'm not going to get a screenshot of that. Um, but in terms of what we're doing today, I really want her to meet Milos and I want August to meet Ihaka. All right. Oh, I can control you now. That's good. Um, why don't you come up here and take a quick shower? Just so that you can be done by the time your mom... Or about the time that your mom is done. Oh, I also meant to age down Carly and Lucas. Because they're... Oh, Jason's also an elder. Okay. Okay, all of our friends are elders. Um, I might change that so they're adults. <laughs> you know what? Even if it's not flower day, maybe I will still make like an event... Like maybe maybe this Saturday it's for it's Summerfest. Maybe at Summerfest then we can have like a pretty dinner party and we can like decorate the garden and stuff. That might be nice. Just so that she can like at least have something. Like she wants something, you know? Um, why don't you call everyone a meal? Okay, you're almost level two of this, so that's good. What is your thing? You want to own two bar, bar stools and mix ten drinks. Okay, well, you're level two. Let's get rid of that. And uh, you can go finish eating. Okay. But yeah, here, I haven't really shown August, so let me show him really quick. Um, he looks basically exactly like Oliver Chase. Um, he looks exactly like Oliver Chase, but he's got Misty's eyes. That's the only difference. Starts ceremony to summon Persebeth. Um, but yeah, so he's, they're both very different. They're, they're kind of op, like, doing the opposite twins thing. Are you guys about to hug? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. You know Oliver Chase is so proud of him. Okay, you... Why don't you, um, why don't you come look through the telescope if you're, if you are, uh, not having fun? That's your favorite, one of your favorite things to do. He's also a fucking nerd like Oliver Chase. Yes, him and Oliver Chase are very similar. Meanwhile, Edith looks, like, almost exactly the same as Misty, um, but these two are very different. <laughs> Here, but I do think Misty would be like, Edith, um, can you please... 
wash the dishes. Let's see if she'll do it. I mean, she's feeling re she's in a rebellious phase, so we'll see if she actually does it. She's like, okay. <laughs> maybe she feels a little bad. Maybe she's like, if I do this, then maybe mom won't like go upstairs and uh, and find my my secret setup. Misty's been having the time of her life, man. Look at her. She's like, huh. she's doing great. Um, I kind of want her to go up here. Here, we're going to say that Edith grabbed this and put it back in her inventory. And then, Misty, I want you to come over here. And then I want you to make an, a special arrangement for flower fe or for summer fest. So we'll go over here and do summer paradise. Oh, August did, um, August got a, uh, got the fitness skill. Are you interested? Yeah, you should be interested in fitness because you're a cheerleader. Okay. Um, why don't, why don't you come over here, Phil and call Aurelius to eat. And then if you want to exercise, why don't you go do some like push-ups, do some sit-ups, stretch. You'll probably stretch first, actually. Um. <laughs> what have you been doing? Why'd that take you so long? Okay, this usually gets his fun up. Yeah, it's getting it up a little bit. Oh, he got stung by bees. How did you get stung by bees? Alright, I want to see. So he's in a club now. Oh, I also meant to give Gus a makeover. Maybe we'll give Gus a makeover together really quick. Um, oh, he's friend. These are his cheer mates. That's, that's who all, I think that's who all of these guys are, are his, are his cheer mates. So that's cute. Uh, I just got home. I need to shower. I'm all sweaty from going to the gym. Bye y'all. Sorry. I couldn't stay long. That's okay. Liv. Good job on going to the gym. Good, good job on that. You're stronger than me. Um, wow. Edith, Edith was like, yeah, mom, I'll do the dishes. Grabbed the one dish that was out here. Well, here you're you're much more of a goody two shoes. Why don't you why don't you clean them up? <laughs> oh no, none of them want to want to clean anything up. Okay, here can we can we be a good parent and be like yes, thank you for doing the dishes. Unlike your, unlike your sister. Okay, let's clean that. Oh, Oliver Chase is now level six. That's good. Um, have you done your homework? No, do your homework. Oh, Oliver Chase, you're the knowledge provider. <laughs> you're supposed to do this too. Scoom a pony, just an Oh, Krafoba, think of Rapani. Tayami, Imuyev, Anna. There we go. Look at him actually doing the part of his challenge. Oh my gosh, I love this swing set. It's so good. Alright, let's get both of you in bed, because it's kind of late. Yeah, you go over here and sleep. He can do a pillow fight with Oliver Chase. Oh my gosh. He can probably do a pillow fight with Edith. They're so cute. I love these two. Oh, Misty, Misty can sell a flower arrangement. That's good. Oh, you can sell all of these? Girl, ship them on Blopsy. Oh my god. We're about to make so much money. All right, what you doing, Edith? Oh my gosh. I I love her so much. My check. I love her so much. Like look. At the confidence. The confidence. That's what she gets from her dad. That That's what she gets from her dad. The unwarranted confidence. <laughs> Hi, Grace. Oh, but she is cleaning up after... Uh... Wait, it's 3 a.m. Why are you awake? You're already rested? I mean, okay. 
Oh, that's cool. By selling on Plopsy, you get the entrepreneur skill. Oh, that's some very cool um, cross pack. Um, cross pack compatibility. Okay, so you sold all your things. Okay, cool. So we can. Um, I also need you to go over here. Sent this with the bluebell. And then we'll have, I think we'll have like a little, um, we'll set up like some tables and we'll have like a big old barbecue and everyone will wear like cute little summer clothes and we'll have like a little family portrait with the cute little summer clothes. So what type of vase can we get? Party confetti? Um, let's try another one. Summer vase. Yeah, there we go. So let's make two of those. Well, no, you you go back to bed, actually. What are you doing? <laughs> go to sleep. Edith. Maybe Edith just doesn't need much sleep. You know how like there are some people that just don't really need that much sleep? Maybe Edith is one of them. Can we listen to... I want to listen to metal. Yeah, go, go listen to metal and dance to that. Oh, I want to see you air guitar. You know, she might be, she might just be planning a party of her own. <laughs> In fact, yeah, she probably is, actually. Like, she would probably much rather be, like, having her own party on Summerfest. But no, my lame mom has to throw a party. From what fulfilled? Oh, cool. Ask a crush out. Here, can we... Actually, can we, um, we're going to try and get over Jolene. Again, I don't think she minds the crush on Julia, but I do think she wants to get over. Well, no longer she will she be plagued with thoughts of Jolene. So she's like, yeah, she's like, yeah, I don't, I don't know if Jolene likes me and I'd rather our friendship not get weird. So yep. Cool. We still need to figure out... I think Jolene's other trait is good. Like, she's such a good... Like, Jolene is just such a sweet little sim. Like, look at... Like, she's so pretty. She loves the outdoors. I'm fairly certain her other trait is good. It's like, she's so sweet. <laughs> Honestly, she just better than this mess. <laughs> Alright, here. Why don't you take a nap? But yeah, maybe, uh, maybe Edith is just like... You know how some people just don't need very much sleep? Um... Maybe, maybe Edith is one of those people. All right, what do you need to do? It's a bit more important that you get a shower. So let's use this and take a shower. And then Edith, you're hungry. So why don't you come over here and get some fruit salad? Since you're already awake. Yeah, like look at her energy. It's so good. Maybe we can save up for a uh, seldom sleepy and get that for her. Ooh, August had a Eureka moment. That's good. What are your skills looking like, buddy? Dancing is your highest skill. Okay, we need to work on some of his skills too. Um, oh, do we wanna Yeah, let's go. Let's let's uh Let's let's go to school with August with August and Edith. Let's see who who comes to school today. Because um, Amy was telling me that when they were playing, then um, oftentimes it would be the same group of students every day. But I've everything else I've seen, it's been like a different group of students every day. So let's see who comes.
Okay, I think these are... Yeah, these are all new students. Like, there's John. Okay. I mean, I was hoping that Milos Arihaka could, would be here. Well, no, because Perry's here, and Perry is... We've already... We've seen Perry before. And, like, there's Harrison. There's the principal. Oh, one second. Okay. Um... All right, well, you definitely would study for exams. So why don't you come over here? How do you study for exams again? Do you click on them? Wait. Hold up. <laughs> Ab Abraham's genes lay dormant for too long. Um... <laughs> Let's prepare for next task. Because, you know, we're an overachiever. And then, how do you study for exams? Computer, a bookshelf, or yourself. Okay, well, we can just go click on a computer. We can go to the library. Do it through a library computer. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, you go and study for exam. I don't think Edith would study for exams. I don't think she would bother. I think, can you turn off, is there a setting to turn off fe wants and fears? Boom. There we go. We're all good. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? I'm, li like, literally my resolution is garbage. What's going on with Abe jeans? Oh, um... August has a really good butt. Like, it's in, it's kind of incredible. <laughs> Alright, Edith, what would you want to do? You kind of liked the piano? Yeah, you liked the piano. Why don't you come over here and you can, like, play the piano for a bit. Yeah, I heard that there was maybe a setting for that. And sure enough, there is. Um, you can Then you can come over here and freshen up at your locker. Ooh, planking challenge. Wait, no, I think this is the same group of students. This is the same group of students. So why am I getting the same group of students? That's so weird. Yeah, this is definitely the same group of students. Huh. I wish that I could, if I'm going to get the same group of students, I wish that I could pick who they are. Because I would, I would want Jolene and Milos and Gus and Ihaka to be here. Maybe I can set up a club. I, I have a mod in. Normally you can't make clubs at school. But I have a mod in. So maybe what I can do. Let's see if this actually works. Um, so we'll just call it like teens or something. And we can just give him a little party icon. Um, and then you have to be a teen. And then let's get like Gus and Jolene and August. Who else can we get here? Um... Okay, so we're going to have to meet, we're going to have to meet Milos and Ihaka, but we can get them in here too. It's weird because towards the end, Ali stopped showing up, but everyone else did. That is so weird. But like, so now you're, you're at work or away from the active lot. Can I... Can I invite people to hang out at the current lot? Or is it going to say that I'm at work? Okay, maybe you can study for exams, like, a little bit.
after oh she's freshening up sorry she's got to make sure that her makeup is great you're doing good you're actually really hungry i'm gonna see if you can come over here and get yourself just like is there like a vending machine yeah there's a vending machine purchase a snack Um, get yourself, like, a little veggie pizza roll-up. And eat that really quick before class. Yeah, like, I guess I don't mind if the same students show up every day. I just, like, I already have friends, and I wish that it was the friends that I picked that were doing this. Holy cow, she's also doing going really quick. Okay, go get ready for class. I feel like these two should switch. <laughs> oh, we're at Selvadoradian Culture Skill? Writing Archaeology. What class is this? Social Studies. Oh, that's so cool! It's Social Studies class, so they gave you some, um, some, the, some Jungle Adventure stuff, because that's, like, another culture that you would study. <laughs> That's a nice little touch. I, saw, I haven't updated you, I cheat yet, if you haven't noticed. But what I might do is just go here, MC cheats, summon sim. <laughs> And if need be, I can just do this at the start of every day. Like, oh, look, cool, Jolene's here now. So, Jolene just isn't in our class, that's all. But here she comes. Now we can go eat lunch with Jolene. Where's she going? Ah, library. I can see her being a bit of a bark bookworm. Bookworm. <laughs> um, can we add you to a group? Yes. So let's all go over here. Let's all get some lunch. How are you feeling actually, August? Because you had your snack. August isn't super hungry. So I think he's going to... Because I want to get his logic skill up. So I want him to go over here and play some chess. But you two can go here together and then you can you can both get lunch um let's get a fried chicken cider and then we can come over here and sit together Oh yeah, we can sit with Harrison. I like Harrison. Yeah, so here she comes. Oh, Jaleel just had a bit of a moment, but come, he come here. Uh. Come here, Jolene. <laughs> yeah, I want to get to know her because I want to I want to find out for sure what that last trait is. We can ask her about her love life because we don't have a crush on her anymore. Do you have a crush on anybody? Yeah, good. So she loves the outdoors and she's good. Like she's so cute. Let's gossip. You know, let's do some some classic some classic uh high school high school fair. 
Jolene doesn't seem super interested in gossiping, but she's like, wait, seriously? Oh, hi, Mary Jo. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so there we go. So now with that, then it's like we're here with her, which is nice. Um, so what are we supposed to do? We sh they, it wants us to study for exams a little bit more. Um, let's get you some food. You don't have that much time, but you should have enough. Um, let's get you a senior lunch. I should get them junior. I should actually be getting them junior lunches because they're, they're underclassmen right now. Um, but for you, yeah, I think, I, I think you should just like hang out with, with Jolene a little bit. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. Should we make her have a crush on a boy? And then Jolene starts dating the boy. So that we can say Jolene. And then the boy we have a crush on wants to date Jolene. So we can say, Jolene, please don't take my man. Can we whine about our unfair life? Oh, no. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. If Swallow wants to become best friends, sure. I mean, I actually imagine her and August are best friends, but August isn't going to give me any weird pop-ups, so. There we go. Oh, well, now Jolene left. Well, that's okay. We can chat with August instead. We can convince her to join the cheerleading team. Oh, no. Edith wouldn't. But we can try and convince, um, we can try and convince Jolene. Oh, never mind. It's time for class. Did you eat? You didn't eat, man. No, Edith, stop! <laughs> Edith got a, got a crush on her again. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on, you're late for class. You were late, August. How can August is like, I finally have friends. Yeah, Edith has another crush on her. Okay, well. This is your class, Cassidy. You're not paying attention at all. You don't care. I don't, you two are randomly generated. I don't know anything about you. Yeah, and you are, you are loving this, clearly. So he doesn't know Jolene very well, so maybe we should. But I feel like him and Jolene are gonna get to know each other pretty well when um <laughs> are gonna get to know each other pretty well later on when uh when Edith is throwing a rager of a party and the two of them are there to support her but don't want to be involved in the party so they run and hide. <laughs> Your blick. Zarzuya Arpanaya. Abadola wanna fed. Okay, cool. August impresses teachers and learned a lot today. Uh prom is on Saturday. We're not gonna go to prom because I think prom happens way too much. So, so I'm just not gonna do it. Um you sir. You can still go get some food. So why don't you go get get a veggie slider while she's still here? They're the people that spend the entire party playing with Aurelius. Or they're 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 the ones that like you know how people like put on a movie at a party just like to be kind of polite and like or like just like as a background thing. Uh they're the ones who watch the movie and like are actually get into the movie. That's me. I just described myself. I'm sure you guessed that, but I did just describe myself. <laughs> Do you have cheerleading today? No, you don't have cheerleading today. Okay, cool. But we do need to practice on a cheer mat, which there is one over here. So why don't we, like, hang out for a little bit? Once you're done with that, why don't you go perform a solo routine? And we can hang out at school for a bit with Jolene. Hey, Finn. In fact, can we, like, take a, take a photo with her? <laughs> you're cute. 
Yes, I don't think Jolene's into girls, though. Is Harrison going to be in the background? No, good. Okay. Wait, no, actually, no. Give me that goofy one. Yeah. No, I said give me a goofy one. Although I I want Jolene to be here. I feel like they I feel like the position should be switched. Okay, it's not gonna switch. Oh well. Them in the library. I'm one thousand percent in the boat with those two. I don't drink, so when I go to parties, I chill in the living room laughing with my dumb tipsy friends. Alright, let's do this. Can we go like over like oversaturate it? <laughs> no, that's that's too much. But there we go. So there. Now we got a little selfie with the two of them. And now Edith is feeling all flirty and she's like, no! I don't want to be. have a crush on my best friend. Okay, how are you doing? How are you doing, buddy? I believe in you. Let's watch. <coughs> Come on. Borg. Yeah, look at you go. Oh, oh. Florba. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a Borg. Oh, there Give you go. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and while you're doing that, what's the summon sim cheat? Just a second. Summon. Here, Amy. Sim cheat. Sims 4. Si summon sim first name, sim last name. Summon Yaka Cooper. That can actually work. Are you going to make me put a mailbox on this lot and use MCZ? Oh, well. I don't know. Do any of you guys know about the summon uh, sim cheat? Did I do it wrong? Because I want Ihaka to come in while he's like doing his cute little routine. But I don't see him. I don't think he's here. I don't think that worked. That's unfortunate. Did you get over your crush? Yeah, you did. Like, I, I think it's, uh, I don't even go to parties of Mal, mostly because I know full well that all the energy is going to get to me, get me too chaotic and I'll commit an actual crime. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like a lot of it is that Edith is just like, she just became a teenager and she's romantic. So she's probably going to get a crush on like every single person she talks to. <laughs> like we were hanging out with Harrison. Let's go. Hey, let's go talk to Harrison. Like, maybe she'll get a crush on Harrison. Who knows? I also wish that the Sims wouldn't wear these awful clothes. Sula. <laughs> Sula. Like, if I tell him a joke about vampires... Look, she's already flirty. You know what? Farbahoy! Let's, uh, let's get to know him. He's a photography. So he's childish. And she's level two. Cool. No longer driving. Hello, Grace. All right. I really want it. Oh boy. 
<laughs> Edith's gonna come out here and be like, you are not. <laughs> you are not! Okay, we can't go to school tomorrow so that he can actually... I think summoning a sim the old-fashioned way requires the sim ID and stuff. Are you posting on sim? I feel like she's posting on social bunny. Like, my loser of a brother just finished a cheer routine and did a good job. And now he's, now he's just doing his homework on the cheer mat. <laughs> In fact, can we post on social bunny? That might be fun. Um, yeah, open social bunny. Edith always brings the fun. There was no one better to hang out with. Oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, I'm out with mini apple pie because I was craving something sweet. You need blank around each name. Oh. Well, thanks, Julia. I mean, we, we do have a crush on Julia still. Um, that pillow fight was euphoric. I feel like I'm glowing. Who knew that taking a pillow to the face could be so thrilling? Did Jolene and Gus have a pillow fight? Huh. Okay. Suppose about our lunch. Let's do like a. Let's do a a, a happy narrative because we had got to have lunch with our friend. Not even a cow plant wants to be around you. You look like a shaved llama. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm friendly. Oh boy. These are our friends. I feel like I feel like this is a sibling thing. They they got together and we're like we're like, let's troll Edith today. But yes, let's absolutely get together and hang out sometime, Jolene. I love you. Not like that though. Not in a gay way. Except they kind of do. Let's hang. Let's chat with Gus. Send him a friendly message. Gus, I'm so happy to have a friend like you. I mean, last thing you did do was troll me, but that's okay. And then August never posts on social bunny. He has a social bunny, but he never posts. Oh. You guys, your mom is wondering where you are. I feel like she was just texting, like, she was just texting Misty. Yeah, okay. I feel like Misty was just texting them, like, where are you? It's almost 7 o'clock. Are you okay? Okay, did you finish your homework? No, not quite. Well, let's go home. I'm not going to go to school with them tomorrow. But I think what I might do is I might just... S s well, here, let's go home and we'll try out the summon sim cheat and see if that works. Because B said you had to put the... the less than and greater than around it. I got the thing, thanks. I got the thing, thanks. Thanks, I guess. All right. <laughs> Alright, um... Sure. <laughs> you supposed to just blast at MCR's Black Parade RAR XD? <laughs> Alright, let's get out the, um... Yeah, let's get out the clam chowder. These two went straight into their pajamas, and you know what? If that's what they want to do, then that's what they're going to do, and I support them in that. All right, let's try this again. So it's summon this one. Ihaka Cooper. Like that? Or summon... Oh! Oh, there he is! There he is! I don't know if I summoned him, but he's right there. Oh, God. Guys, it's happening. 
It's happening. I feel like August was just out here playing some chess like the nerd that he is. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? And he's just like, huh? Huh? He definitely owns a shirt that says "Rar means I love you and dinosaur. Please stop. <laughs> yeah, like he was he was sitting down playing some chess. And then he's just like, oh, 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 God. <laughs> I owned the shirt. <laughs> he's like, oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Edith, def I don't, I'm not sure if Edith has the raw means I love you in dinosaur short, but Edith definitely has a normal people scare me shirt. He immediately turned around and left. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? He immediately turned around and left. No, no, come over here. Come over here. Friend friendly introduction. Friendly introduction. Come on. It's fine. It's fine. Quick, before he leaves. He's about to leave. He's about to leave. No, he's coming into our house. He's coming into our house. <laughs> Is he coming into our house? <gasps> Okay. Okay. Um, well, we don't have Edith with the- Edith's not wearing galaxy leggings in any of her outfits. But that doesn't necessarily mean anything. I owned a pair of galaxy leggings, and I- 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 I was not like this. But, um, but can we talk about this- this thing going on right here? Like, Ihaka is dead- oh my- <laughs> Dad, go away! Dad! 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 <laughs> Oliver Chase is like, oh, does August have a friend? Oh, oh, never mind. I'm going back. I'll go. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just go eat it. I'll just go at the table with your sister. Um. <laughs> No, no, August is, August just, August is like, no, not happening. But here, I do, I do want to make it, I'm okay with it, with it ending there. Because August is now so mortified that he can't look, he can't look this beautiful, glorious man in the eye. Oh, yeah, Ihaka did it like that. He immediately, he immediately was like, okay, never mind. Is that a friend I see? Yeah, okay, we might need to acquaintances with a tiny bit of red in fact yeah negative two okay yeah no he's going inside he's going inside this is he's he's done with this here edith do you want to come over here and meet him really quick you come over here and do a friendly introduction but you sir you are you are peeing out the embarrassment <laughs> But I want I want Edith to be friends with him so that he can join her club. They both think the other is sophisticated. That's so cute. Well, here, why don't you join our club, Ihaka? Okay, now you can leave. Um. Let's, yeah, make some leave. Maybe Edith can be like, listen, <laughs> yeah, I know. Have you ever been so embarrassed you have to pee? I feel like I have. I feel like that has happened at some point. Oliver Chase is waiting outside. 
<laughs> oh, see, how are things going, kiddo? August slams the bathroom door. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> That's literally what happened. You know it is. And then, oh, and then August went out the other door, so he didn't have to talk to his dad. <laughs> Yeah, here, no, get rid of all these, because this is this is how you're actually feeling. Here, Edith, do you want to go, like, make him feel a little better? Let's go, like, let's go compliment his outfit. We can promise to skip prom together. Navatani. Uh, yibs. Discuss his embarrassing mood. I agree. Let's stick to prom together. It's a pact. Wixona Zarspa. Penthip Babrice. Oh, Oliver Chase is also embarrassed. <laughs> oh, yumpy. <laughs> yeah, that was not a great situation. Now we need to meet Milos. Why don't you come over here, and then I need you to finish your homework. You're almost done with it. Edith, you need to use the bathroom, and then you're really tired. But before you go to bed, do you think you can uh, pull out your little secret bar? And uh, make a drink really quick? Let's make ourselves a tang and zing. I feel like that's going to be pretty easy. I'd be embarrassed too, lol. That was awkward. <laughs> that was awkward as fuck. It was. Ooh. All right, there we go. So he's now done. He just sat. You, yeah, he, he's, um, he, has, he hasn't been having a great day. Um, he just sat in front of the cabinet and just did his homework on the floor. Um... <laughs> He's had a little bit of a day, and you know what? That's fine. We all we all have those days. Can Missy, can you come over here? Oh gosh, this thing is uh add to the dryer. Damn bro, me too. Either finally time for fun. Pulls out an entire bar from her skirt pocket. Dry laundry. Add that laundry to the washing machine. Wash laundry. And they just put more in it. <laughs> Missy's like, oh my god, are you kidding me? I'm going to bed. Someone else can do that. Where's Aurelius? Oh, are you hanging out outside, buddy? Yeah, get out of the rain. Do you think August would vent to the cat? Because me too. August, yeah. Well, August isn't as close with Aurelius as Edith is. Like, if I thought Aurelius would survive until Edith became an adult, then I would have him move with her. No, I wouldn't, because he's he's Misty's cat, first and foremost. Like, Oliver Chase got, got him for Misty. It looks like he's just, like, put the pillow over his face, and, uh, and yeah, it's same. <laughs> oh, here, let me do this. But, yeah, I'm not going to make them go to school today. Um, I'm gonna, or I'm gonna, like, send them by themselves, so that they, um, <laughs> yeah, Edith does not need much sleep. Like, she is good. Why don't you, um, we can just replace it. Why don't you go take a cold shower? Because, girl, you need it. <laughs> Aurelius, I know you're, like, an elder cat at this point. But please don't drink from puddles. Here, why don't you come out down here and maybe we'll cook something. Maybe we can make some breakfast. Why 
Why don't you make some eggs and toast for everybody? Like, she's up early enough. I imagine she, like, she mainly likes alcohol and drinks, but I imagine she likes, like, food, too, you know? I'll just replace this. Yeah, we've got so much money. And she's now cooking level two. So, yeah, she's, like, she loves her family. I mean, she, like, does all the classic, like, you don't know me, mom, but, like, she, she loves her mom. Here, I don't think you need to... Why don't you just wash your hands a couple times? I don't think you need a full-on shower, but you should get something. <laughs> August can come up to her and be like, Edith, I think I might be gay. And she's like, LOL, me too, nerd. Keep up. <laughs> In fact, let's do it. Let's have that conversation. We'll enthuse about the meal. We will brighten day. Can boast about messing around, please. As if you've ever messed around. We'll banter with BFF. No! Wow. over here and I, I love that you guys want to like hug each other and stuff. It's so cute, but wow, I love these two. Imagine her and Misty going shopping in the East, picking out the most dark emo clothes and Misty being like, I love it. I think Misty is really um, supportive. Like in my, like when I was going to have the cute little flower day dinner party, mm -hmm. then I was going to have Misty force Edith to wear something like flowery and like pretty in springtime. <laughs> but just that one time. But now that it's just going to be like a Summerfest barbecue type thing, then I, I, then I don't think she's going to make, like, she, she'll just let her wear whatever. Chabasepine. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's like, me too. Do you know how many times I've had to get over a crush on Jolene? Please. What were y'all's first impressions? They didn't even have first impressions. Oh, but it's it's gone up to five. Oh, so actually their relationship has gone up even though they haven't talked. Interesting. Uh, Edith, I think I'm gay. <laughs> Me too. Purple All right, they're about to have to go. <coughs> Okay, so we're just gonna send them alone today. Here, Missy, your daughter made everybody breakfast today. So why don't you both here you can you can get the fruit salad, Oliver Chase. All right, you study hard. You, I'm going to have you make friends, and we're going to see if she can meet Milos at school. All right, do you have work today? No. You have work today. Dang it, I was actually like, maybe we can have a nice little, I mean, I can have you work from home today. Yeah, I might have Misty work from home today, and then I can let Oliver Chase and Misty have a nice little day together. Yeah, can you put the laundry away? Yeah, so why don't you why don't you work from home? Make a masterpiece flower arrangement? I mean that's kind of a tall order, but let's add that to the dryer. I guess she is at the highest level of the career, so. Well here, Misty, if you need to make a masterpiece, um she's just gonna see the bar. And be and just sigh. <laughs> but here, why don't we? We want to make another summer paradise anyway. So. And she can be like, Oliver, can you please go like check on the bees? Okay, Edith met Ozzy. 
August has two different tests today, and one of them is going to be tough. There's a little time to study beforehand. Should he spend all of his time studying for the harder test or use the time to study for both tests equally? Um, I feel like he would study for both. August really really did know most of the answers for the easy test already. The extra review didn't help much. That could that time could have been spent studying for the other test, which was brutal. He winds up with an A plus and a C minus, not the best. Oof. Oh, he definitely wants to go to college, but we'll work on that later. Can you collect the beeswax and collect the honey? All of her flowers have kind of glitched out, but I guess that's fine. Um, here, why don't we do something to help you relax? How many? Oh my gosh, he has so much in points. What should we get him? We could get him... Hmm. He's dead. Ah. Hmm. Eh, we'll figure it out later. We don't need to spin those right now. Although, do you have potions of youth? No, that's what we're spending them on. <laughs> Let's get you and your wife a potion of youth. Well, I think Misty has enough to get her own. Yeah, Misty can get her own. And then do we have enough for creative visionary? We do. Let's get up. Okay, cool. So now they've both got potions of youth. They are set to age up in two weeks. So actually they're set to age up. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. They're set to age up uh, before August and Edith, but they're before like on that Sunday that I'm going to have them both take the potion of youth. But let's have, oh, yep, there she, there it goes. That was easy. <laughs> um, let's add a vase, add the summer vase. Huh. And then can we send yeah. with, that one's only going to sell for $1,000, really? Oh. I feel like most of her stuff sells for more than that. Okay. So now we've got some of those. Um... Let's really quickly plan a barbecue. So we're just going to set it as a house party. These two are going to be the, the hosts. Um, and then we're going to invite Rachel, Julia, Jason, Gus. Not this lady. Remember her? Oosh, yeesh. Yeesh. Um, we're gonna invite Lucas. Gonna invite Carly. <laughs> Should we invite Chet Ledoux? <laughs> you know what? Actually, actually, I am going to invite Chet Ledoux because I thought it would be really funny if Edith dated Chet Ledoux the fifth. So we're inviting him and then I'll give him a little makeover and then I'm just gonna clone him so that he can have a little clone son that Edith can meet. And then Edith is gonna is gonna date Chet Ledoux the fifth and Felicity is gonna be up in heaven pulling her hair out and screaming. <laughs> screaming, crying. Screaming and crying and throwing up. That's gonna be Felicity. Oh yeah, I don't know if you, uh, Leah, I don't know if you knew this, but Chet Ledoux is still in the game. <laughs> we're doing it. Um, and then we're gonna do it here. And we'll just have like a, a little afternoon barbecue. <laughs> This is my most unfortunate contribution to the legacy save. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> um, okay, so we still got time 
before then. I do want to age down Jason and, um, like, I, I want to age down all of the friends before the actual party. Um, and then we need to age up Chet Ledoux. And then we need to give Chet Ledoux a son that's also Chet Ledoux and is just the same sim, but it's his son. And then Edith is going to date him. It's my personal favorite contribution. Mm, Mateo or Chet Ledoux? Okay, let's have Oliver. Where is Misty? She's up here. Oliver, why don't, why don't you go ask your wife on a date? Let's check her hotness. <laughs> Suli, I'm so glad all my friends contributed to my save. Are you sure about that? <laughs> yes, I'm very sure, actually. <laughs> I've never been more sure of anything. Edith met Caro while at school. That's cool. Can you meet Milos, please? I love Caro, and I would I think that they would be great friends with Edith, actually. But I I want to I would like I would like to meet uh <laughs> I would I would I would like to meet Milos, please. All right, where should we go as a date? Let's go, we go, no, it's raining. Let's go somewhere where it might be sunnier. Um. Hmm. Where might it be sunnier? Can we go somewhere in Windenburg? <laughs> we could go see Bruce. Um. <laughs> Let's go. Why don't we go swimming? We'll go to the bluffs. Look, I love Mateo so much, but nothing can meet the pure comedic value of Chet Ledoux. <laughs> Is Milo's not in school? No, they just never meet the sim you want them to meet. All right, let's have them sit and talk. She's got a little bit more time to meet him. Oh, this is good screenshots potential here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and change them both into their swimwear because they're here to swim. Swim. Look at how ripped Oliver Chase is. Like this absolute unit of a man. Let's whisper sweet nothings. Let's kiss. Let's tickle mercilessly. We'll also share our brilliant ideas. We gotta interrupt in the middle of that to talk about how smart we are. Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll give her a massage. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so cute. Stop. I'll meet you. Oh my gosh, these two are so cute. I love them so much. These two might be like one of my favorite couples. Like top three. These two are like top three favorite couples in the entire legacy for me. Well, six of the comedy skill. Joke with your date. Okay. Um, let's joke about fashion. Let's joke about old times. So adorable. Uh -huh. They're so cute. I love them so much. We'll make a move. We'll snuggle. Blanky Zenga. Cabla. Cabla Charbe. To declare our love publicly. I declare for everyone here that I love my wife. Stop, you two are so cute. I wanna I gotta make sure I get all the good screens. 
Ben Fabilovo. Oh. Aww. Yeah, me too, Misty. <laughs> All right, let's uh let's actually go swimming together. Swim here together. Oh. Let's splash. Let's do a uh, a kiss in water. <laughs> 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 this is so cute. Huh. <laughs> Frawless Yaba. Huh? Food Brona. Express fondness. Uh, no. Oh. Mm. <laughs> then for her. Let's see if we can fill out this pink bar. Shaka. A beamy. Yib Saquinario. Oh, my foo. Bonsai Zifka. Dimpish. Dimba. Dimba combo. Ah, oh, Rishi Pet. Every droid you borrow. Shabby Daza. Oh, lucky. Oh. Torky. Shabby Blue. Oh, Corner. sure. Misty can like Finn. Alright, let's go up here. There's something I wanted them to do. Oh, I want them to take a picture together. <laughs> Y'all are so cute. I, I would like to have one with the water in the background. But all the ones with the water in the background are bad. Wait, this one's cute. Angry ones are so funny. Oh my gosh. Cuties. Okay. Um, now the kiddos are about to get home. So I'll let Misty pee in that bush. Eden, can you stop calling me? So I'm just going to go ahead and end. They had a beautiful day out together, and I love that for them. What are you doing? No, go pee in the bush. Wait, did he not? Oh, he needs a skill to get to level three. Okay, that's fine. Well, these two can head home. <coughs> I'm not sure how long I want to go today. Um, like I kind of, since it's my first day back from streaming after quite a while, then I don't think I'm going to go for too much longer. I know I've only been going for an hour and a half, but I might just go to two hours today. Now what I would like to do now, so Edith is hungry. So I think what I'm gonna do is let's travel and let's bring Jolene and let's go somewhere to eat. And when we go somewhere to eat, we're gonna run into somebody. <laughs> um, again, it's all rainy here, so let's not. Um, but maybe, maybe they went to this place after, uh, after school.
Who all is here? A bunch of old people. Oh, I forgot. This place is a uh, party wear, so she's in her actually like really cool ah, outfit. <laughs> like I really like this outfit actually. Um, let's try it. So let's go summon Milos Thebe. I would also like to try some. Oh, oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh dear. Summon Milos Seeb. Okay, let's see if either of those work. <laughs> I think Ihaka just happened to be walking by. Like, I, I don't think I summoned him. Uh, Jolene, why are you wearing a graduation cap? Okay, well. Sorry, don't know the cheat, clearly. It's a really wild coincidence. It, it is, but I can't, I can't find it. Mom, I literally live with you. You're getting a little clingy. Alright, let's uh let's get let's order for our table. <gasps> there he is. There he is. Oh boy. Um I feel like she would be responsible for getting a root beer float. I feel like Edith would pull out her fake and get herself a wrench. Um, and then in terms of what to eat, ooh, a mushroom steak. Edith can have the mushroom steak. Um, and Jolene can have the acai bowl. There he is, everyone. He's so cute. Oh, he's, what, what's wrong, buddy? Why are you all sad? Your mom didn't die, did you? Or your grandma didn't die, didn't she? Scoff at discomfort? No, don't scoff at discomfort. Here, we'll do a friendly introduction. Here, in fact, why don't we why don't we add him to the group? Okay, wait, we can add him to the group after we do the friendly introduction. Okay. Bye, queen. Uh. <laughs> so they actually like each other. <laughs> the waiter can tell that Edith is clearly 14, but is so tired and underpaid that they can't be bothered to care. <laughs> okay. Hello. We'll support your facial hair, Milos. Oh, oh no, he didn't like that. He was like, I don't need your support. <laughs> who are you? I don't even know who you are. <laughs> She's like, you don't know who I am? Look at my outfit. Look at my outfit. You don't know who I am? No, not mean. Let's not be mean. Let's invite him to a fake party, though. 
He did like our outfit, though. He has good taste. You can be like, well, maybe you can come to my party this Saturday night. And he's like, heck yeah, I love a good party. And she's like, wait, shit, there's not a party happening this Saturday. <laughs> JK, JK, unless. Well, that's cool. He's now in our little, he's now in our little posse. So I'm just going to really quickly add him. Oh, Jo- Oh, oh, he's, he's hitting up Jolene. Okay. Okay, sir. Is this how you want to play it? Is this how you want to play it, sir? Okay. I mean, Jolene is, I'm going to, I'm going to change Jolene's outfit really quick. I can't, I can't, I don't know why she's got a graduation cap on, um, but she does, and I don't like it. Oh, it's because I didn't change any of her other outfits. I was thinking that the rest of her outfit was actually cute, so I gave it to her, but I did not. But, oh, Edith is like, oh. Okay. Is this is this how we're is this how we're doing? Is this how we're doing this? <laughs> All right then, Milos. Oh, I don't think I don't think Jolene liked it very much though, honestly. <laughs> She's like, whoa, 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 <laughs> Hi, what what what's happening here? He's like, well, see, the fun funny thing is, uh, you know, you've got that cool party this Saturday, but I've also got a really cool party going on this Saturday, and frankly, I think my party's gonna be better than yours. And she's like, shut the fuck up. Morani. <laughs> Oh well, I'm sorry, but your your party your your party's not your grandma to, to your party's not at. <laughs> She's like psych loser. He's like that's not funny. Although actually, that's not funny. You can't joke about my grandma dying. I actually want her to die. <laughs> Jolene seemed to think it was funny, though. <laughs> She's like, yeah, don't even worry about it. Like, he, he seemed like kind of a tool. Darka! <laughs> Nah, gossip. Can we tell a funny story? I actually want her to die. <laughs> Are you the chef? Oh, you're not wearing the uniform. Interesting. Is that our food? No. Dang it. It's their food. Darla and Thomasina's. Let's uh, tell her an urban legend. Maybe we can tell her the urban legend of the uh, the weird house that's like over here. And how people say that it's haunted. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? I actually like the idea of her getting her mischief skill up a bit, so... 
Let's tell her another one. Maybe when we're done here, we can go to the house and see if we see anything spooky. Yeah, well, people are right. It's super haunted. Is that for us? Where did the Where did that food go? Was that he gave? He just did a little thing. I don't know where the food went. <laughs> What? Is this restaurant glitched? I think the restaurant's glitched. I'll give it a little bit longer and then I'll just cheat their hunger. Sir, can we help you? I might need to to switch out some of this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's glitch. Okay, that's fine. Oh my gosh, that food was so good! Yay! Oh my gosh, that wrench was so delicious. I'm totally old enough to have it. I'm definitely not uh, not stumbling out of the restaurant. I actually think I saw this happen to someone else, so all restaurants might not be working. Really? That's not good. Um, I think it might have been the placement of the tables. The placement of the tables that, like, we were sitting at was kind of weird. Because I did see the one guy get his, his food. Um, my iPad is getting very low on battery, but my keyboard is also low on battery, and it needs the same charger. Um, okay, well, yeah, so that, that was kind of a long night, but it was fun. Why don't we go over here, fill in call Aurelius to eat. You, sir, can you empty the litter storage? Misty. Oh, cool. We don't have any laundry. All right. Oh, yeah, we had the maid come, the, and the maid does laundry. Oh, Aurelius was waiting. Aurelius is like, you don't need to call me. I'm coming. Anyway, does she still have a crush on him? Oh, yes, yeah, she does. Uh, oh, one second. Well, there he is. I mean, that was the one thing that I did want to happen today, is I really wanted her to meet Milos. That was, like, the big thing. Um, so that's good. And then, why don't you come over here and go to bed? You, sir, I also want you to go to bed, but I more so want you to... Get your logic skill up. You, sir, can sing in the shower. You, ma'am, also need to go to the shower, but we can wait. Um, and then once you're done in there, if you could... This is Misty Bragg's bed? Yeah, it's also her husband's bed. Um... And then Misty, you take a shower before you go to bed. Oh. Luckily, this boy gains skill so fast. Okay, cool. Now, the main reason I wanted to do that is because now I'm not going to send them to school tomorrow. And I'm probably not going to, I'm not going to go to school with, I'm going to send them to school. I'm not going to go to school with them for probably the rest of the week because I don't want to go with them on exam day. <laughs> Um, because I'm not sure how they'll do on their exams, but Misty, can't you sleep on this side? 
Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> But yeah, um, I do think I'm going to be ending kind of early today. Um, just like I said, I, I kind of want to end now. Um, just because like I said, it's uh, it's my first time coming back in a while. I've gotten everything I wanted to get done, done. August has Maddie Haka and um, Edith has... Uh, he also knows Milos? How do you know Milos? I think Milos is a cheerleader, so that might be how he knows him. But, okay, August also knows Milos. Um, so they so they both know the people that I wanted them to get to know. Um, so I think I'm going to be good for this episode. Start bracing yourselves. I think we're going to be losing Aurelius. Wait. I'm sorry, Aurelius has been a girl this entire time? How do I always get this wrong? I feel like the genders switch. I feel like they switch. Because I remember, I, I'm fairly certain I made Aurelius a guy. Like, I specifically checked. Ming was watching my stream. Oh, I'm honored. I'm honored to have Ming as my viewer. But what is this? What is this? That wasn't, that wasn't the case before. Ugh, whatever. Aurelius, Aurelius is, is my trans cat. You know what? If Aurelius wants to be a trans woman, then she can be. That's fine. I support her. Um, but yeah, so I've gotten basically everything I wanted to get done in this episode done. Um, in the next one, and then you made him a boy. I, I'm fairly certain I did that too. I feel like every single pet like this has happened. It happened with Peach. I'm pretty sure it happened with Nougat. Um, and I feel like it's happened with another pet. That I got I got the gender wrong. Oh well, who even who who even cares? It's a cat. <laughs> um, but yeah, so in the next episode, we're definitely gonna get to go to our little bar Summerfest barbecue. Um, it, that day is Remembrance. We're still doing some of the Japanese um, traditions. Yeah, exactly. Trans cat. Um, we're still be doing some of the Japanese traditions. Um, so, like, it's got, like, fireworks and a remembrance and stuff. But, so we can go at the start of the day to the mausoleum. Um, so I don't think the kids have been to the mausoleum yet. Usually I take them as kids, but I think I forgot. <laughs> um... So we can take a, take them all to the mausoleum. Um, honor Posey and Lila, who of course have just recently gotten their altar there. Um, you know, Oliver, Chase, and Misty can come to terms with the fact that that's where they're going. Uh, <laughs> and then we can come back and have the big party. And you know what? Maybe if Milos is having a party at his house on Saturday, maybe we can sneak out and go to Milos's house and have a party on Saturday. Like, can we, can we like do that? Can we, can we plan two parties at once? I don't think so. <gasps> so we're gonna, we're gonna say that he's the one hosting it, but we'll bring her. She'll drag, she'll drag him along. All of, all of our teen friends will be coming. <laughs> and then at 11 p.m. At 11 p.m. we're gonna sneak out and go to Milos and go to Milos! <laughs> We're gonna crash this party! We're gonna crash this party, let's do it. And you know what? Maybe we can bring Chet Ledoux the Fifth with us. <laughs> Who needs you, Milos? We've got Chet Ledoux the Fifth. <laughs> Milos is like, I am not jealous of you. <laughs> okay, but I think I'm gonna call it, call it here. So, thank you guys for hanging out with me. This was, this was fun. <laughs> I, I've been, in the past few days, I've been like really in a Sims mood. Um, so it's been nice to get kind of back into it. 
um, and do some more like family gameplay and stuff. So we're definitely going to be doing more. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do the entire two weeks or three weeks for my teen Sims. Um, cause they of course increase the age length for teens. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do three weeks. I think three weeks is a little bit long for teen Sims, but we'll see come Saturday. If I feel like she's halfway through her teenhood, then I, then I'll go ahead and give her her glow up after the party. Um, but you know what? Actually, that would make a lot of sense. She goes to Tartosa. She discovers wine, gets her glow up. Okay. Actually, you know what? Yeah. So we're probably, so I'm probably going to age them up earlier. Um, like all her and all of her friends are going to age up after two weeks instead of three. And we can just kind of play that by ear for the future. Um, but for this particular one, I think it's going to work better that way. Also, it means that we can start her generation sooner, which I'm excited for. So yeah, um, I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow. It's a high likelihood that I will. <laughs> um, but no matter what, uh, I look forward to, I had a lot of fun today, had a lot of fun seeing all of you and I look forward to seeing you all again. So thank you so much for coming and goodbye.